Hello, in my previous tutorial, I talked about the D3 append call. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about uh, the select call. Uh, I'm going to start out with the previous code with uh, three circles, red, blue, and green. Um, and I'm going to continue from there. Uh, let's say I want to change the background of our SVG to light gray. Uh, so I'm going to do a select call. As you can see, we already used a select call here to select a canvas. So I'm going to use a similar technique. And then I'm going to select SVG tag. Then I'm going to change the background style to light gray. And when I refresh, the background of the SVG becomes light gray. So the next example, uh, Let's say I want to change the green circle to be bigger than the other ones. Uh, I can do that by, first I need to uh, assign some kind of identification to the green circle. I can do that by using either the class name or ID, uh, depending on your scenario. Um, in this example, I'm going to use the class name. And I'm going to call it the green circle class. And then down here, I would make a uh, SVG select statement. Um, the difference between SVG select and D3 select is D3 will select anything globally. And SVG select will select the, uh, the children of or grandchildren of the, the tag. So it's only things are inside the SVG tag, which is, which is created up here. Um, I'm going to se select the uh, green circle class. So notice that the syntax works like any other DOM document selection uh, in JavaScript. And I'm going to change the radius of the green circle to be bigger than the other one. Uh, in this case, I'm going to increase it to 20. And then when I select refresh, uh, we can see the green circle is now bigger. Uh, the next example, let's say I want to move the circle down uh, instead of 90, uh, CY90, I'm going to move it to 180. So it's, they're all going to move down here. Uh, with T3, I can write a, call, a select all call so that it will select all the circles and then change the property at the same time. So it's a declarative language that let me select multiple elements in the class or multiple tags so that I don't keep repeating myself or uh, not necessarily to, uh, need to write a, 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 a for loop in order to update a bunch of elements at the same time. So this is one of the handy features of D3. So I'm going to do that by saying SVG select all and then I'm going to say I'm going to select all the circle tags and I'm going to change the CY attributes to 180. And then I'm refresh. As you can see, all the circles has moved down to 180. So uh, that's D3 select, SVG select, and or SVG select all. Sometimes you will see people also use D3 select all in place of SVG select all or SVG select all. Uh, they have very similar effect. Uh, it's, and this call, it shows how powerful D3 is in uh, writing the code in declarative way so that uh, it, will is, it is easier uh, to understand and uh, uh, it's more powerful. Uh, so that's all for the select tutorial. Uh, check out uh, more examples on vida.io. Thanks. Bye.